Don, when you first uh, started scheduling this series, what was the main reason for it? Was it just competition, exposure, good for the game? Was there one thing that stood out why you wanted to get them on the schedule? I mean, you uh, you want to measure yourself. You know? um, and, and they uh, they were the best team in the country in a decade. And what better way to do that? Their style of play is a little bit different than um, what you usually see. Mm -hmm. um, they just execute and play both sides of the ball at a, at a really high level. And you, know, you just want to continue to measure yourself. Because, I mean, if you can compete with them, you can compete them with sure. the national championship. And some of the outside noise is saying, like, well, you know, maybe it's not a typical UConn. They're still 20 and 2. So how, how difficult is it to prepare for them? I mean, it's, it's, it's very difficult. I mean, because we really can't simulate. That's probably the best that we simulated, um, you know, their style of play. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. We're looking forward to it as UConn. Um, should have a good crowd. Should have a, you know, should be a good game. Hopefully it's not on in favor of us, but it should be a good game. Good for, for, for women's basketball as well. Don, heading into this game, I know your young people have been so steady throughout the year. Do you see that same steadiness these couple of days? Because it is UConn, and they grew up probably following UConn as much as they yeah, I mean, it's been pretty steady. Um, and and it's, up, it's, it's amped up a little bit more. Um, I think people, uh, our players are really, I get text messages about, you know, what we need to do. And that's, that's rare, yeah. you know, when, when your players are texting you like, we can do this, we can do that. You know, I think this will work. Um, so they're engaged um, on all that. How much of this game is <clears throat> playing in the moment and not playing the UConn, the name, the brand on the jersey, not getting your psyched out from that? Um, I, I don't know if you can get, you know, if you, you can block it out. You know, all of our players, you know, grew up on the, on the time in which uh, UConn was dominant, and that's all you heard. Um, so you can't really block that out. What you can do is try to quickly get, get back true to form, true to who we, who we are um, in the last 23 games that we played. I know there's still a lot of season left, but with this game being top five matchup, do you allow the girls to maybe start thinking about the postseason in terms of what they'll have to do to, to face teams like this in March? I don't I don't want them to think about postseason at this point. Um, it's a game. It's a it's it's one game. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't um, deter us, win or lose, um, from our overall goal. But it is a game. It's a big game that we would surely like to win. Um, does it have some postseason ramifications? It, it, it does, you know, but I hope, I hope they watch the games that we played and won um, because no one has that type of resume in the country. So win, lose, or draw, you know, you can't take away what we've done, the resume that we built. Ty, this, is no, uh, this game is no stranger to you. You've seen them a few times mm -hmm. now. Just what's the most difficult thing about trying to slow down their offense? Um, they just really precise, and uh, they do everything to the T. I mean, they don't get off of their train track. I mean, they do everything what they need to do and how to do it perfectly. And I think we just got to speed them up and try to make sure that we rough it up a little bit. And also, with your experience, you know how much a number one tournament seed would mean, a number one overall seed would mean. How much does this game play into getting one? Uh, we don't try to look too much into the seedings and stuff like that. We just want to try to take it as a regular game and how we've been taking all the other games and to keep pushing that way. Ty, you've accomplished so much here in South Carolina. Does it bother you that you haven't broken through against UConn yet? No. Ty, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you've played this game, obviously, like we said, in the past, but this is really the first time where most people expect you guys to win. Does that change? Does it feel different this time? Um, no. I mean, just because they, they do everything, but they always do. They have a standard, and they know how to play with each other, and uh, Gino's going to get them right, so, I mean, it's going to be a fun game. Tom, what advice do you give your, some of your younger teammates about what they're going to face tomorrow and just about the overall atmosphere that's um, going to be in this place tomorrow? Um, I think we did a pretty good job with just the atmosphere. I think they handled that at Tennessee in the Mississippi State game. I think they're good with that. Uh, just staying calm and composed and just do what they do. Don't try to do anything extra. Aaliyah, for you guys, you haven't played UConn yet, but they have been the dominant brand in women's basketball for so long. How do you look past the brand and just play the game tomorrow night? Well, I mean, we really know what we're really trying to focus on doing, and we've really done a great job preparing so far. So, like we said before, we just really got to take it like it's a, just another game.